there, Tapas Fleming here, TATlife.com. What I'm going to show you now is how to use TAT if you have been triggered by the war that's going on in Ukraine right now. So by that I mean triggered, I mean you're feeling bad. Maybe you're feeling um, fearful, anxious, angry, stressed. Maybe you're uh, feeling nauseous or you're throwing up. You can't sleep well. All kinds of uh, feelings and physical responses and thoughts that had been just sort of like, boom. That have just come into your life because this is going on. So first thing to know is that you may have PTSD because you yourself had to flee a country or you were in a war or, or just some similar situation. It might've even been the way you were raised was like you were in a war zone. And this kind of situation can just trigger those feelings for you. Also, maybe your parents or grandparents or other relatives, extended family, were in a situation like what's happening in the Ukraine and it's just got you really distressed. Oftentimes, uh, if we had parents with PTSD or even grandparents, it's just passed down to us and we grew up feeling all the stress that our family members felt. So um, one of the first things we do with TAT is understand that we're doing this on behalf of our, ex our big family, all our ancestors. We do it for all beings who'd like to benefit. So we make a very big intention and include all of those people. And as we do TAT, our intent is that their unresolved stresses, post-traumatic stress or whatever they went through that never got a chance to heal is healing now. That's part of what we're intending. So we'll do that together now and then I'll explain more, okay? So for that, we do the heart pose. That's just palm over palm whichever on top you want, over your heart chakra, that means near your heart and midline. And we'll make this intention together. This healings on behalf of you, your whole family, all your ancestors, your conscious and subconscious mind, all the parts of you, all the points of you you've ever been identified with, for all beings involved, all beings who would like to benefit, and it'll happen in a way that's safe and easy. So in that intention, you can include that everyone who's in the middle of this war and all of their families and loved ones, you're, we're making prayers and wishes for their healing too. Okay, so in a couple of the statements here, we're doing a shortened version of TAT and a couple of the statements, I'll use the word God. If you don't want to just skip that part or you can change it to universe, source, divine mother, whatever you want. And um, what, what to do next is just notice what are the thoughts you're having? And if you, if you want, you can write all this down. What are the thoughts you're having? What are the emotions you're experiencing? And what are the physical things going on? Like you feel sick to your stomach or physically you just can't sleep well at night, whatever is up for you. For a whole lot of us in this world, these are all natural responses. So whatever it is, uh, just write it down and it goes into what we call the pot, which just means what we're working on together right now. Mm. Okay, and uh, as I'm leading us through, all you do is just listen and notice whatever you happen to notice. You don't try and make it true. You don't do anything with your energy. You just listen and see what happens. That's it. Okay, so we'll do the TAT pose. That's thumb and ring finger, whichever hand 
touching lightly just above the upper inner corner of each eye, middle finger, midline and about a half inch above eyebrow level and your other hand goes at the base of your skull. So your thumb is just above your hairline. You're not sticking your finger in the notch back there. You're just, you just have your hand flat back there, centered, that's it. Okay, so we'll do this TAT pose together and go through some of the TAT steps. Everything that led up to my resonating, identifying and connecting with this happened. All that happened, it's over. And I no longer resonate, identify, or connect with this. All the places in my mind, body, and life where this has been stored are healing now. God, thank you for healing all the places in my mind, body, and life where this has been stored. All the origins of this are healing now. God, thank you for healing all the origins of this. Then what you can do is just decide what you would like to be true for you, like um, I have empathy and compassion for the people in this, and I'm able to be present in my own life right in the here and now. That's something you could choose, you could decide is how you want to be experiencing your life right now. So whatever that is, I suggest you write that down and then do the TAT pose and read it to yourself silently or out loud three times. And there's something you might wanna to say to ancestors. Uh, I experience that our own nature is eternal. So if you want, you can talk to ancestors including parents if they died with PTSD or they died in a war or, or family members did. So this may be useful for you. If not, forget about it. So I'd suggest you do the heart pose and this is what you could say to your, your people. Even though you died, you can notice that you still exist and you're okay. You don't have to continue to resonate, identify or connect anymore with that death. You don't have to resonate, identify or connect anymore with any of the shock or horror or grief at losing family members, whatever it is that has kept you stuck in those moments near your death. It's safe, possible, and okay for you to notice that you are eternal, you're okay, and that there's help available for you right now to completely move on to a happier life. And we're making prayers and wishes for you and all beings who've been hurt in this way and who'd like to, to move on to the highest, happiest, most love-filled life possible, and that you accept all the help that's here for you in getting there. And also in this heart pose, if there are just things you wanna say silently to anyone involved, like parents, grandparents, extended family, whoever, you can just be in this heart pose and have that silent, unedited conversation. Take as long as you want and then we'll move on. So you could pause this if you want, but we'll move on now to the integration of all of this. So we do the pose. 
and put our attention on. This is completely integrated now with my grateful thanks. God, thank you for completely integrating this now. And then switch hands, front to back, back to front. This is completely integrated now with my grateful thanks. God, thank you for completely integrating this now. Then we put our fingertips around our ears, snuggled up with our thumb behind our earlobe and our pinky up top and our tips of our fingers are on our head. This is completely integrated now with my grateful thanks. God, thank you for completely integrating this now. And then the heart pose, I completely allow and accept this healing and transformation in my heart and whole being with my grateful thanks. So take a moment and notice how do you feel now compared to before doing this? I hope you're feeling much better. Also, I suggest you Put your attention on the war again and another day. You can do this whole process again. You don't want to be doing TAT more than 20 minutes in a day because a lot really happens and you need to allow your body time to transform and cool down. So I want to also request you drink plenty of water any days you do TAT. So when you review mm, what's left, whatever that, that might be, just put it into, like we say, the TAT pot. It just means what we're working on and do this whole process again. I hope this helps you feel much more peaceful in your heart, calm and present. Thank you for listening and see you next time.